We're getting it together. We're here. We're back. We're almost there. We're not quite live yet. Oh, okay. Well, we're live on our podcast, yeah, and we, we can are. call it that. Maybe. Yeah, we can actually call it that now, which makes me really excited. Let's see here. We got to make sure we're live on Facebook this week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like cleaning up my office as we get started. So if that tells you what kind of week it's been in real estate, I don't know what does. Par for the course. It's been a good week. I'm not complaining. I don't want it to sound like I am. It's just been a, a week as far as like demand. And yeah. coming back from a holiday just as well. Oh, that's really fair. All right. I believe we are live on whoop, whoop, whoop. Facebook. <laughs> hey. Hey. Happy Thursday. What's going on, fam? It is, it is a dreary Thursday. Um, it is. And, and yeah, we got the lighting right up in here. Yeah. Gotta have a bright office. I know you guys like the fluorescence off, but no judgment. I get it. Uh, yeah. Um, I, and then they just give me a really bad headache. So I care to not have them on. But I usually keep my lamp on. My lamp's on. The, the fluorescents are on. The blinds are open. So it's not a bat cave in the ops world today. <laughs> Well, okay. we are super okay. grateful for everybody that's tuning in. Thank you all so much. We're getting a ton of great feedback out in the community yeah. about this. Um, and we just really wanted a great way to connect with everyone without having to call like a formal meeting. Um, yeah. So um, nevertheless, welcome back to Lunch with the Thread Bunch. You got Eric and... Hey, I'm Tyler. Y'all see me every week. <laughs> C is possible. And yet, if you're on the podcast, thanks for tuning in, guys. So um, today's topics are, Tyler, go ahead. We're going to talk about market moments today. But first, let's uh, let's catch up. What's going on in your world? Tell me about some of the new listings you got coming up. Holy granolis. Um, So we have, I think we tallied up about six appointments this week alone. And that's a great way to bring in the summer months. I mean, really, um, we recognize that the... Um, the market seems to be a bit out of cycle for what we would consider. And yet there's nothing wrong with that. Just moreover, like the spring market is just now hitting. But I have to say kudos to all of the buyers and sellers out there because you're following the weather. Goodness gracious, we had a low of 59, what, three nights ago. And then the next night it was a low of 52 to bring into June. I was like, where's summer? Where are you? I don't know where summer is. But <laughs> I mean, you know, for our exercise in the morning i'm not mad i mean i am mad when it's cold and i'm cold but the humidity from this morning i thought i was gonna choke holy humidity yeah so it was it was bad well i'm really excited about these new listings that we have coming up we've got some really great properties so um for those of you who are not listening to our podcast on our facebook page and you are following along on apple podcast or your favorite streaming site you can jump over to our facebook page and always see our coming soon listings we've got some really awesome properties in city out of the city acreage bungalows you name it we got it so we're really excited about that and uh, our monthly market moments are hitting mailboxes as we speak Ooh, do we have a copy i don't want to give it away yet i know i just wanted to, i want everybody to know like what does it look like don't it, pass judgment on the mail you know i um, I have one right here. I oh, you do. You don't have to get out the door. Oh, fun. So this is what it looks like when it comes in your mailbox. Okay. You'll Just see right there. Phone. Don't slice that one up and stick it in the shredder. Yeah. It'll be a fold okay. and the other side, if you fold it back and just flip it around, okay. see, you're giving it away. I wasn't giving it away. You're giving it away. That, this is normal office banter, friends. <laughs> uh, that is uh, what the... The, it'll have your address on there in a second. Yeah, so. right there. So this is what your newsletter looks like. The top of it is like that. I um, don't want to give away the content on this yet. I um, firmly believe our people who have requested these in their inbox, and thank you to everyone who um, did reach out for a copy of it. Um, these are on their way. Um, so you should be getting it sometime this week. So I'm really excited. I love this product. So not to my horn or anything, but... 
Um, for anyone that can't see this because they're on our podcast, I like to think that we have like this huge radio listeners. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I don't have the cool microphone just yet. So never mind. Um, we have like 20 downloads on our podcast so far. That's what I'm saying. So we have to kind of walk through what you're holding in your hand because I can relate whenever I'm on the radio and they're like, hey, take a look at this. Ace, take a look at this, TJ. Uh, and I'm like, oh, guys, I can't see. So nevertheless, it's just a folded in half glossy multi-page um magazine for lack of a better term um and it's just got a big blank on one side and a return address and a stamp with your name or you know we've been doing like current resident just to make sure it makes it because um one little thing can just make the mail return it and there yeah. goes a whole stamp i think some of them actually say our friend that yeah so not to be in person we wanted to make it to that destination yeah i want to arrive yes so you asked me about uh, new listings. Um, you know, the biggest thing I can say, like you said, it's very diverse portfolio right now. Um, if you have any questions or you know somebody, but you know what, guys, I really want to talk about is the fact that we have a lot of people on the would sell list, meaning they would sell, but they don't know exactly where they're going right now. Um, and so that's still a sign of the times, if you will, um, where we're still seeing people that would sell their home to get a better kitchen or a bigger floor plan or a smaller floor plan even, um, yet they just can't find what would get them to that point of listing. So their house may be perfect for you and your house may be perfect for them. So it's worth a DM, it's worth a text message, it's worth an email, um, you can always email me, eric at thregholmes.com. Or if you change the name to team, then everybody on the team gets the email and somebody's going to jump right on it and help you out. So nevertheless, uh, of course, I'm not saying I wouldn't jump right on it. I'm just moreover, if you want to talk to everyone at the same time, go right ahead. We love to talk to you. So, so um, I think something that you touched on that I definitely don't want to get away from is the spring market was very delayed in hitting this year yeah. um, but I think we're in that swing now I feel it well yeah that that definitely seems to be the case you know the I'll wait for my spring market my house looks better those types of things and not to discourage anyone because we continually watch something called the hot sheet every morning we check especially for the wood sales you know what's the perfect house that just hit the market that could possibly work for them and especially like coming soon homes that are no showings are allowed um, the public can't necessarily see those yet we can. And so we can say, you know, if you want to ride by this address, there should be a sign out front that says it's coming soon. Um, let us know what you think of the exterior and just generally speaking, um, the neighborhood. And, and if you like it, let's, uh, do our best to be one of the first appointments to get in there. So. Uh, there were only five new listings total in Craven County. Of which there was like three that were coming soon this morning or something of that nature. So yeah, coming soon is like a big mystery and it's a super industry specific lingo, but it's a big teaser. It's like the movie trailers, if you will. But yes. <laughs> yes. We've got some great movie trailers coming out on some of our newest listings. Um, <laughs> I'm really excited. We have a really awesome house coming up in our neighborhood and, um, I really love this property and I love our neighborhood. So if anyone wants to be my neighbor, not my direct neighbor, um, I'm not getting rid of them. Like I really love my people in my cul-de-sac. It's about a mile walk from my house to that house. Yeah. So, you know, safe distance. I won't be on your front porch begging for referrals every day, but you know, good weather days maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, overall, we've got some three bedroom, two bathroom, um, newer construction, newer being within the past 20 years, give or take. Um, so some of the newer amenities coming up, we do have a really cute bungalow that we just, uh, we're talking to somebody and we're getting everything signed off this morning, um, over in the Aurora area. Um, so really close to Nutrien. Yeah. Um, and gosh. It's just been one of those weeks. So we're working on a townhouse. We're working on a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But diversity in the portfolio, round and round. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm really excited. And thank you to everyone who's contacted us with referrals or tagged us in posts. Your referral is really the highest compliment we could ever receive. And um, we don't take that lightly. So we take that fully to heart. And um, 
I know a lot of our listeners and viewers always are looking out for us and tagging us in some really great posts of people who need us. So we're excited that they wanted us back and um, we're excited to get them started with some really cool real estate goals. We heard something the other day. I don't want to go too far off topic, but you know, I mean, I feel like it's pretty relevant um, about our cool, like little, I call them swag bags or not necessarily in a bag, but uh, just some, you know, like cool little goodie uh, buckets is what we were using the other day for Celebrate Spring. Um, and so, yes, of course, naturally, we like to um, give you a little gift uh, in return for uh, keeping us in mind and those types of things. So thank you to Show everyone. Your our step, don't be alarmed. <laughs> I'm just trying yeah. to thank you. But you're... Put your um, laser thermometers down. Okay. Ah, okay. We've been vaccinated yet. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and we will gladly just leave it on the stoop if you would prefer. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, it really ties right back into our market update conversation around the spring market swing seems to most certainly be here on our doorstep. Um, I'm noticing significantly that... Um, just everything is looking a little prettier out there all of a sudden. <laughs> the Finally, the drought has lifted for anyone that is not here locally and has a property. We're very familiar with working with people that don't necessarily live in their house, like moved away and rented it for a while. But um, it was a pretty bad drought for a little while there. Um, and I actually heard on the local weather this morning that the burn ban has been lifted. Now, good luck trying to burn anything um, with the current weather. That's exciting. Oh, sorry. I thought you were stopping me. I thought I said something. Oh, no. I was saying yay. I'm excited. That means we can have like a bonfire or something. Okay. And for all of my Tylers out there that got a big old pallet they want to burn in their backyard, <laughs> now's the time to do it. <laughs> Unless it's soaked like everything I have at my right. house right now. But I just planted some new um, like grass and stuff. So I'll take the free water because I'm scared of that water bill right now. I'm scared of the water bill for you. I'm tempted to get like a super long garden hose to stretch down to your house so you can just like borrow some of ours. Oh, thank you. Um, I thought you were going to go somewhere illegal with that. So thank you for keeping No, up. I wasn't. I, I don't, I don't really know if it'd make it the whole block, but I, I mean, we could try, like we can, we can recruit some of our neighbors. Maybe we'll like run it through the back of the cul-de-sac. So this is the imbalance of our balance friends, just so <laughs> you know. Um, Tyler's on to cul de sacking and multi hose stretches from okay. house to house. And I'm over here like spring market. Yeah, <laughs> spring market. So, <laughs> there's gotta be, we were talking about this in the car on our way back from an appointment. There's gotta be a Robin for every Batman. Okay. Coincidentally, Tyler's mom's name is Robin. So, yeah. so that. if my mom is watching um, the show or listening to the show right now, you should know that Eric would like to trade me out. If yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Step up the SAS game. <laughs> hey, Robin. Oh, <laughs> Having a good day. Um, so, so, yeah. The our favorites just saying hi to us on Facebook. So, hi, Abby, and hi, Logan. Thank you guys for coming on. Abby was with us last week um, talking about TPI, and Logan Baker is one of our buyer agents, and she is scheduling her debut to come on Lunch with the Thug Bunch. Um, should be in the coming weeks. So, that's exciting. Currently, she's on a um, wedding. Uh, mental health retreat uh but it doesn't it's not as bad as it sounds she's just on vacation really but not really like fully out of the business she's just uh taking a little break going to her best friends is it is it the wedding this it's week wedding. okay wedding this well, i heard week. rehearsal dinner so i guess that does follow so nevertheless uh logan is doing something that has been super looked forward to and um it's it's just a really great repeat preve to um reconnect with her her people so I'm really excited for her. I'm very happy for her. And I'm proud of her for making time because that's a big uh, part of our company culture, as a matter of fact. So congratulations, Logan. Enjoy your um, mental relaxation time. We just spread your business all over our podcast, like butter on So sorry about that. We didn't run out of things to talk about. I'll say that. But no, we did. it was just important to me. <laughs> I'm off as like a big... So if you're not already friends with Logan or following her on Instagram, now's the time because you need some great photos from that. You guys behind the scenes of the female. Yeah, the Ooh, Lego. Anyways, back to our podcast where people are joining us. Today, we're going to give away some secrets. Mm. 
One last topic on the uh, new listings piece for spring oh, market yeah. real fast. Let's um, yeah, this is our world and I'm okay with that. But um, the big thing that we have noticed in the current market is don't be fooled by numbers. Um, one of the bigger points that we have definitely driven home is a large number of new homes coming on the market are actually new construction. So they're not turnkey and ready to move in. Now, when I say turnkey, of course, they will become such once they're finished, but they could very well have a lengthy completion timeline between anywhere between, they seem to be starting at six months and onward of eight to nine months for completion right now. So, you know, new construction is very appetizing for a lot of folks. And yet the timelines don't always work for, especially if you're relocating the area, military PCS, those types of things. And so um, that's one reason why we've been talking up uh, resale homes, um, because actually resale homes are outnumbered by new construction right now, which is really exciting that they're building so many homes in this area. And yet um, most of those homes are not on their punch list timeline as of right now. They're pouring foundations. They're, you know, praying for good weather to continue to frame them and those types of things. So keep that in mind. Um, it's never too early to start the conversation if you um, yourself want a new construction home and then knowing that there's a huge pool um, for resale homes right now. So value, values are in a great place. Yeah, totally. I digress. I have to say, I think I'm somewhat partial to new construction homes because my home is practically new when we bought it, it was six months old. Um, I think they lived in it for like two months and peaced out and that's okay. I love my house. So it was, it would have been well worth the wait. Yeah, the, the rather new construction resales, we've seen a big spike in um, appreciation. Uh -huh. Um, we have our sellers over on Murdoch Way that are going to be closing next week. Whoop, whoop. Congratulations oh, whoop. to uh, Michaela and Derek. And yeah. um, they are onward to a new job opportunity. But nevertheless, um, that just is one of the key indicators that we're seeing on new construction appreciation. So, um, you know, contact us if you have questions. It's never too early to have a conversation. I hear a lot of people saying, I don't want to waste your time. Um, believe you me, um, including this podcast and, and video, it's not a waste of our time. Um, everything we see is just uh, almost like a community service effort. We recognize that 90% of what we do is education of the general public. So let's go. Let's have a conversation. So what were you going to say about some sneak peek giveaways? Oh, I don't remember, but that's kind of Oops. my life. We have some really cool things coming up in the pipe, but though I don't want to give away too much because once it gets here, there will be something awesome coming. Like there's going to be a giveaway. I feel baited right now. I hope you <laughs> are. Um, and it's probably because you don't know the plan that you feel even more baited than that. So what you guys cannot see on, on camera or what you obviously can't see because you're listening to us on our podcast is this wall on my left hand side has a giant sticky pad on it and it's just like torn stop knocking on the wall <laughs> anyway it's got all of our fun giveaway stuff that we're gonna be getting ready to do but um yeah we we dented the the swag basket it's about to be here it's about to be a thing so i need everyone to be following us on facebook instagram TikTok as well. Yes, we are on TikTok. Um, we have some cute content. I'm just gonna say that myself because I create all our content. Uh, but you can follow us over there and you can find out about how you can win some awesome thread stuff in the coming weeks. You'll find out. Oh. You're welcome. Mm. I'm curious. So if you guys aren't curious, then I don't know what to say for you. But <laughs> yeah. um now I'm you're paid for it. We're okay. We all contributed, I'm sure. <laughs> um, cool. Well, nevertheless, um, that leads us kind of in a different direction. Um, and that's going to be toward having a conversation around something that we're seeing a lot of right now. Oh, yeah. um, and that is probably, you know, a lot of people that I speak with, um, including my chiropractor. Um, oh, by the way, uh, Dr. Z asked, how are you? Uh, and I do believe he meant that in the most literal sense of, is her back okay? Pippa <laughs> so, um, says that he can't talk about her, but I referred her to my chiropractor. Oh and he my is God. looking for you, ma'am. Uh, so. We're okay. We're going <laughs> to... 
<laughs> my um, life, I'm being hunted down by everyone in my world. So there's that. <laughs> you are. He chose violence yesterday. It's fine. Um, my husband's currently <laughs> watching the podcast because he didn't get to see me this morning. So, hey, babe, thank you for tuning in this week. Well, in that regard, um, yeah, I was I was even talking to my uh, chiropractor yesterday while he was popping and banging and that weird neck thing that they do. Oh, my gosh. I'm so <laughs> freshly cracked today. But, um, yeah, uh, there's a lot of folks aware of the multiple offers that we're seeing out there. Yes, that's a big thing right now. People, people feel like one of two ways about them. I think that's what's so interesting with multiple offers is that, is that – um, people are either super, super scared of them. And when they hear multiple offers, they're like, never mind. Or people are like, multiple offers, bring me in, coach, let me play, you know, defense on this. So, why are you staring at me? I'm not. Um, so, <laughs> With regard to that, um, we would love for you guys, especially anybody that's tuned in on Facebook or wants to email in, uh, again, eric at threghomes.com. Um, you know, the, the biggest questions that we have for you is what are you seeing, hearing, feeling in the market? What did your neighbor tell you that maybe perhaps scared you away from considering selling or even just having us uh, come by and have a conversation with you? I will say, I get it. And I'm in no way would say that your fears are unjustified because everybody has a reason for a concern around something. And um, what we're looking for is just to better understand what can we talk about that hopefully will shed a little bit of light from behind the curtain, you know, demystify real estate. Um, so with the um, multiple offers piece, I just will say that most people are hearing something and um, whatever it is, it may not be exactly what it sounds like. You know, um, the house sold in 24 hours and it's like, holy cow, how do you make a decision that quickly? Well, the opportunity within that would be connecting with an agent who most certainly cares about your real estate goals. Um, Absolutely. I think that's a big deal because that's a pre-conversation. That's the precursor to finding the house and knowing right when you're going to make the offer that, you know, this is the right one because you've already had some, some good probing conversation and questioning um, to understand what you really are looking for in your absolute solid criteria versus deal breakers. And then better getting some clarity around what you want your payments to look like. So that way, when you make that offer, um, and you're in multiple offers and you come in strong and you win the offer, it's not like this gut wrenching, oh my God, what did I just do? Because yeah. um, you've already got a lot of clarity around why your real estate goals look the way they do. Um, you know, that big number broken across a 30 year mortgage is this, or heck, if you're doing a 15 year mortgage, more power to you. I mean, that's certainly an opportunity just as well, but we need to know what is that commitment that you're gonna be making? Um, because we truly believe that it's your goal and we're just here to make sure that we're a liaison to make sure uh, to connect you to the finish line. So um, another thing is the, and I, I guess I already alluded to it a little bit, and that is uh, bringing your A game the first time around. It may seem rather Captain Obvious-ish of me. I, yeah, I'm sure there's an actual um, term, uh, but nevertheless. That one. Captain obvious -ish. Ish Lee. Oh, okay. Uh, to say, bring your A-game first whenever you're in multiple offers. Nevertheless, the point behind that statement is not as obvious as maybe what it would seem. And that is uh, a lot of folks don't realize that uh, an offer is not what we would consider in the industry a material fact. Um, and so if the seller hasn't given authorization to disclose that there is an offer on the property, then perhaps you're not going to get another chance beyond let's throw it at the wall and see if it sticks. So should you find the right home once you have good clarity around what you're looking for, it may be a one shot um, type deal. And, you know, I've seen we've seen sellers accept offers. Um, in a highest and best scenario where it may not be the highest, but it was the best. And what does the best look like to a seller, right? Um, well, a seller might think that a best offer is simply the first offer, uh, not waiting on it. They may want somebody that is truly committed right up front. Um, the other opportunity within that could be that an offer is um, 
the the highest yet perhaps it's not the best because it doesn't close right away um and so that's the connecting with an agent who cares about your real estate goals um odds are that agent's going to be doing some what we would consider for industry terminology due diligence behind the scenes to find out um, what does that look like for you to get the house that makes the most sense for you. Um, so those are some, I guess, pretty basic and somewhat conversation probing um, statements. Yet again, that's where we invite your questions or general uh, takeaways um, from this conversation. So, you know, I, mean, I don't want to be too surface. And yet I want to elaborate on any questions that do come in. So please feel free to shoot them over. Um, we love to talk. So lunch with the Thread Bunch, right? Like we put our spoons down for just a minute. And here we are on the other side of our delicious um, coffee lunch. Um, what is it? The uh, instant macaroni and cheeses. <laughs> <laughs> It's like blue little round things that you just add water, stick in the microwave, and then it becomes a whole bowl full of glory. In the like 37 years of me being in your world, I've never seen you eat Easy Mac. Um, it's usually done in chicken nuggets or like a Lunchable, but um, if you're hiding Easy Mac at your house right now, I'm going to feel a little betrayed. <laughs> I'm just going to walk. I'm going to go walk out. You never know. You never know what that 3 a.m. snack looks like, right? That's so. fair. Oreos and chicken nuggets. I mean, it's just my go-to, so. Well, health is very important to us here. Um, and sometimes that's just merely eating a meal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so like, one, that, that, that just is what it is. That's fair. I'm going to roll with it. One other thing, guys, if you haven't heard, seen, smelled it yet, um, I don't know where smell comes from, but nevertheless, we... <laughs> are hiring just like everybody else in the whole world right now it seems okay <laughs> i'm like oh my gosh every time i'm driving down the road i'm like oh, they're hiring they're hiring and i mean i'm very happy with what i do for a living but nevertheless i'm like huh, i wonder what that starting pay is but um, <laughs> uh i just i don't know it's just they're interesting hiring. to me there is a boom in what would appear to be the economy and um, which has created a need for us. So we do have a um, office assistant of the sort position available. It's a very diverse position, um, yet there's some interesting, well, not interesting, but um, different criteria that we would like for you to take a look into if you have any interest and all qualification levels are encouraged to apply. Um, the starting pay was advertised on there prior just to keep like filter out questions, but nevertheless, um, that's just a starting pay and we would love to further that conversation. So um, should you have questions or just desire to hit the easy apply button, jump right in and it should be launching on Indeed um, this week or next just as well. So the hunt will be wide span and over the next 30 days, um, our goal is just to fill the position by the 1st of August at the very latest, but nevertheless, we are patient and I'm um, going to do our due diligence. So we're excited to grow and find somebody to grow with us. So if you know somebody looking for a career opportunity, we would love to have a conversation with them. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. I'm it's not replacing Tyler, although she sounds really yeah. like weird. Yeah, I don't know why I sound like I'm sad about it. I'm not, I'm really excited. I love our growth and I wish you guys could really see um, like Eric's vision for the overall company and go up with us the 20,000 feet, but I don't want to give away too much. That's fair. That's fair. So it's I just that that we are constantly growing. No one is leaving us. Everyone is here with us still. Um, Logan's wow. not right now, but she's just on vacation. I swear. Yeah. And Darian is at jujitsu right now. Maybe. Or he might be out showing a house, really. I mean, yeah. But um, thanks, guys, for taking some time out of your week to join us. Yeah. Um, we promise that we won't constantly bait you. Yeah, we do have an exciting guest for next week. Can we yeah, spill? We the, are we allowed to spill the beans yet? You can spill the beans if you want. It. Uh, in, if anyone ever has questions about who our guests are on Tuesday of the week of, 
you can find out. But yeah, I'm re I love this human. I think I say that every time we bring someone on the show, but this particular person, I will, I will definitely dive into my level of love and respect for them next week. But you can go ahead, spill the beans. Tell them 60% of the out. time I'm wrong every time. So just know there's a chance I'm wrong about this, but nevertheless, um, it would be next week is Denise Gleason with the Jarvis at 220. Yes! thrilled to have her come on. Um, this is a local business right here in New Bern and specifically in the historic district, um, which is booming and banging right now with some beautiful listings. If you want to be somewhere that is like an earshot distance to everything going on, let us know because these houses have some character. Um, but on the other side of that, the Jarvis at 220, Denise Gleason, the owner, um, she's going to be joining us next week. And I would like to take just one last quick opportunity um, to share with you that we would 110% invite anyone that has value to bring to their business, the community. Um, you know, we've, we've gotten some feedback that this particular platform is a little scary and yet there's no like script per se. We are glad to guide the questions and carry you through. It is much like talk radio here. And we just simply want to um, help you cast the message outward in a time where the economy is making a bounce back from a really unprecedented time. So um, if you know somebody that would do well, but it's Eastern Carolina focused, so it's not just New Bern. Um, yet, of course, we're right here located in New Bern, North Carolina, and we are very interested in what the hidden fruits of the community are. So if there's something else out there that we haven't found yet and you are dying to share or want to convince somebody to share their awesome business, uh, please reach out to us. I'm right here. Tyler's here. Um, thregholmes.com. You can get all the contact information you need. And until next week, you guys stay safe and healthy out there, friends. We will see y'all next week for Lunch with the Thug Bunch. Bye, y'all.